with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After our coldest day in over a month, yesterday we had the coldest temperatures of the entire winter. Earlier this morning, many spots down into the single digits and teens below zero. But as we head through the next seven days, it's going to warm back up again. In fact, I'm not anticipating anything quite as cold as what we saw this morning or as what we saw yesterday. Here's a look. 32 tomorrow, teens to around 20 for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and then back up into the mid-30s, another January thaw as we head towards next weekend. Right now, temperatures across northeast Wisconsin range from the upper teens in Anago to the upper 20s along the shoreline of Lake Michigan. In Green Bay, it is snowing moderately. You can see that 172 is already snow covered. The temperature is 26 degrees. We have east to southeast winds at around 10 miles per hour. It is snowing very lightly here along College Avenue, but there's a burst of heavier snow just to the south and west near Nina and Menasha back towards Oshkosh. As you take a look at Storm Shield radar, you can see snow is now overspreading northeast Wisconsin. It is mainly light to moderate, but there are some bursts of heavier snow from time time to time, and we can expect that to continue throughout the night. The snow extends all the way back down into Minnesota and Iowa. The snow tonight being produced by two areas of low pressure, which are slowly joining forces here and moving east-northeast. The final storm will track across central and southern Wisconsin later on tonight into tomorrow. And these storms are causing all types of problems. We've got blizzard warnings across the high plains, winter storm warnings across northwestern Wisconsin. And here in northeast Wisconsin, we have a winter weather advisory. Skycast shows that snow steadily overspreading the entire viewing area as we head deeper into the evening. By 10 o'clock, we'll be looking at snow everywhere. It'll be moderate to heavy at times. That'll continue throughout the night into tomorrow morning. There could be a little dry patch that works in across the south late tonight into tomorrow morning, but for the most part, the snow is going to continue into early tomorrow afternoon. Once again, still falling heavily at times during the morning. By the time we get to the afternoon and early evening, the snow will continue, but it'll be in the form of some snow showers and flurries. So snow is expected tonight into Saturday. Falling heavily at times. We'll also have gusty winds at times, 35 to 40 miles per hour. That'll produce some blowing and drifting snow and also hazardous traveling conditions tonight into tomorrow and possibly on Sunday as well, especially in rural areas with some blowing snow. Before midnight, most spots will pick up 2 to 3 inches. Between midnight and 6 a.m., we'll see another 3 to 4 inches. And then between 6 a.m. tomorrow and 6 p.m. tomorrow, we'll have an additional 1 to 2 inches of snowfall across the area. So most spots will end up with 6 to 9 inches of snow. Once again, across the far south, the totals could be a little bit lower thanks to some dry air possibly working in. Now, this is not going to be a major winter storm, but it certainly has the potential to be the biggest winter storm of the season so far. Right now, number one is what happened on November 30th and December 1st when we picked up 7.2 inches of snow. We could certainly beat that later on tonight into tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, we'll see snow throughout the morning, tapering to snow showers and flurries by the afternoon. High temperatures will be above normal, mainly in the lower 30s. So tonight, snowy and windy. Temperatures holding steady or slowly rising throughout the night. Tomorrow, snowy and windy. Snow, heavy at times during the morning. Snow showers and flurries by the afternoon. High temperatures will be in the lower 30s. My three-degree guarantee for tomorrow is 32. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Agape of Appleton. And we did that today. I forecast 28. So far, the high temperature has been 27 degrees, which means I've now hit 79 of the last 78 three-degree guarantee forecasts. On Sunday, look for lots of clouds and maybe a few flurries. It's going to be windy. Windy and colder, high temperatures ranging from the mid-teens to the mid-20s, teens to around 20 on Monday and Tuesday, sub-zero temperatures Tuesday morning, but probably not as cold as what we saw this morning. And then we warm up again for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. With that warm-up, we'll have an on and off chance of a wintry mix as we make our way into next weekend. And this weekend, the Packers will be in Santa Clara. Kickoff temperatures right around 60 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Sunset in Santa Clara around 518, so that means as we move into the second half, the lights will be on and the skies will grow dark. There you go. All right. Thank you, Cameron. All right. Cameron, thanks so much. Well, as playoff fun does continue, rivals